Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to create dark lens effects in Premiere Pro, as you can see on the screen. With this dark lens effects, you can create a stunning visual effect that will captivate your audience. So let's get started with just a few simple steps. Alright, now we are inside Premiere Pro. As you can see on the timeline, I have already got a video clip. First of all, we have to create an adjustment layer. Because we will apply all the effects on the adjustment layer. Let's right-click on the project panel. Next, move over to the new item section. And then, click on the adjustment layer. Then, click on OK. In the next step, let's drag and drop this adjustment layer to the timeline in video layer 2. Now, we have to duplicate the adjustment layer. You can do this by holding the ALT key combined with the left mouse button. And then, drag the adjustment layer one track up. In total, we need three copies. After that, I am going to select the first adjustment layer. And then, let's move over to the effects panel to apply some effects. First of all, I am going to apply the tint effect. Let's drag and drop this tint effect to the first adjustment layer. Next, I am going to apply another effect. This is an emboss effect. Let's drag and drop this emboss effect to the first adjustment layer. In the last step, I am going to apply another effect. This is a Gaussian blur effect. Let's drag and drop this Gaussian blur effect to the first adjustment layer. Now, let's move over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. Firstly, from the opacity panel, we have to change the blend mode. I am going to select hard light. And then, from the tint effect, let's change the matte black color. By the way you can use any color that you like. Here, I am going to apply my selected color code. Then, click on OK. Next, let's change the matte white color. You can use any color that you like. Here, I am going to apply my selected color code. Then, click on OK. In the next step, from the emboss effect, let's make the direction value around 149 degrees. And then, we have to make the relief parameter value around 7. Now you can see some changes on the program monitor. After that, we have to make the contrast parameter value around 110. In the next step, from the Gaussian blur effect, we have to make the blurriness value around 50. And then, from the blur dimensions parameter, we have to select vertical. Alright, our first adjustment layer is complete. Now you can see some changes on the program monitor. In the next step, let's select the second adjustment layer. And then, move over to the effects panel to apply some effects. First of all, we have to apply the Gaussian blur effect. And then, I am going to apply another effect. This is a tint effect. Let's drag and drop this tint effect to the second adjustment layer. Again, we have to apply another effect. This is an emboss effect. Let's drag and drop this emboss effect to the second adjustment layer. Next, move over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. Firstly, from the opacity panel, we have to change the blend mode. I am going to select hard light. Also, you can make the opacity value around 50%. And then, from the Gaussian blur effect, we have to make the blurriness value around 221. Next, from the tint effect, let's change the map white color. By the way you can use any color that you like. Here, I am going to apply my selected color code. And then, click on OK. In the last step, from the emboss effect, we have to make the direction value around 149 degrees. After that, we have to make the relief parameter value around 15.40. Next, we have to make the contrast value around 110. Alright, our second adjustment layer is complete. Now you can see some changes on the program monitor.
In the next step, let's select the top adjustment layer and move over to the effects panel to apply an effect. This is a lens distortion effect. Let's drag and drop this lens distortion effect to the top adjustment layer. And then, move over to the effect controls panel to customize the lens distortion effect. Firstly, from the lens distortion effect, we have to create a mask. To create the mask perfectly, we will open the ruler panel on the program monitor and use the ruler to create the perfect size. Let's select the program monitor and then move over to the view panel. Then, click on this show ruler panel. Now, you can see the ruler panel is open on the program monitor. In the next step, pull the ruler and we will take the perfect size. You can follow my program monitor to take your size. Now you can see, I took a size perfectly. Next, from the lens distortion effect, let's click on the ellipse mask to create a circle mask. Now you can see on the program monitor, a circle mask has been created. In the next step, the point on the left side of the mask should be pulled up to this position. Next, the point on the right side of the mask should be pulled up to this position. After that, the point on the upside of the mask should be pulled up to this position. And lastly, the point on the downside of the mask should be pulled up to this position. As you can see on the program monitor, our mask is perfect. Now we don't need the rulers. So, let's remove the rulers. Again, move over to the view panel. And then, click on this show ruler option to disable the rulers panel. As you can see, this is our mask. In the next step, let's make the mask feather value around 250. After that, we have to make the mask opacity value around 97%. And then, let's make the mask expansion value around 6. And then, click on this box to enable the inverted parameter. Now, we have to make the curvature parameter value around minus 70. Now you can see the changes on the program monitor. Next, let's make the vertical decentering value minus 26. And then, we have to make the horizontal decentering value minus 7. After that, we have to make the vertical prism effect value around 30. And lastly, we have to make the horizontal prism effect value around 30. Now we are done. Our dark lens effect is ready. Let's preview. In this way, you can create dark lens effects in Premiere Pro. This is an easy way to create dark lens effects in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.